Hey friends, welcome back to this video. This time we're going to explore how we can create our own Python MCP server locally and use it in Cloud Desktop. So it's much easier than you think and I'm going to walk you through that and how I did it. So first and foremost, um, we need to create some Python code, of course, and for that I used cursor. You can also, of course, write the code yourself, but I'm going to show you quickly how it looks like. And what you need for that is you need to install, uh, for instance, in our example, Y Finance, because I want to extend Claude's functionality and add the Y Finance package so I can go to my Claude desktop. And even though Claude desktop does not have an internet connection by default, I can ask him about the latest stock price for any kind of stock. And then uh, the Cloud Desktop will then use the MCP server and use Y Finance API to get and fetch the latest stock price information and display it to me. That is the idea. So for that, as you can see here, I imported Y Finance and I also imported here Fast MCP. Fast MCP is then the server which can be used from uh, Cloud Desktop in order to fetch the stock price. So for that, you need to install the MCP Python uh, SDK, but this can be simply installed via pip or UV package. It's up to you. So then you can run the server like this one here and then you basically specify uh, with the decorators here as you can see here mcp.tool the different kinds of tools in this case python functions you want to uh, you want Claude to give. And for that uh, it's always best in practice of course to um, well describe the function and what it does right so kind of a string here an annotation string so you can see exactly okay this is basically what this function can do for me. So because um, Claude desktop then needs to know okay what are the functionalities right. And it's important then to decorate it with mcp.tool and then it's just a normal Python uh, function with just here a few annotations as well. So uh, then this basically is just an example for fetching the stock price. This is for instance for Apple and then uh, it basically then uses by finance API just uh, in the normal way we would do it in Python. And it just returns here the close, the volume and also a timestamp and whether it is successful or not. So this is just pure plain Python code just fetching uh, stock data regarding the Y Finance API. The most important thing here is really that when you do it you install first the MCP package, you then run the server as you can see here the fast MCP server and then uh, you basically decorate all the functions you want to give uh, to a Claude with this mcp.tool. So that's basically what it is and all this stored in this stock server.py function right. Uh, so package in this case in here. So that's basically all in here. So it goes a little bit further but there's another tool as you can see to get stock fundamentals because I also said not only the price but if I also want to have fun, some data for the stock for instance I can also give that here and this again uses the Y Finance API but that's everything in here. So dividend and so on. These kinds of information again for the stock. So um, as you said, see hopefully that you can actually create any kind of Python function. You just then uh, create the fast MCP server and then you decorate the function with the mcp.tool. That is the main idea behind that. And then finally of course you call in here if done a name done a main. So if the package is executed then you just run the mcp server. That's that and your transport is here standard audio. So uh, this is basically the Python code you need. So hopefully that is clear so far. And now how can we make this an MCP tool? So MCP for uh, Cloud Desktop. So for that what you need to do is of course you need to install Cloud Desktop. I did that and I use a free version by the way. So you don't need to have um, any kind of paid plan for that. Just you need uh, some account at Cloud and then you download Cloud Desktop and then you log into your account. That's all you need to do. And uh, then if we do this then we can simply install the MCP server simply by going in here and say MCP install and then the package. So MCP install and that stock server.py that's basically what you run in a terminal. So uh, like that MCP install and then uh, stock uh, server also server.py. So just make sure you're in the right directory and you just run this and you install basically this into Claude. So what that then happened is that inside the Claude uh, config um, and I'm going to show you this uh, just a second here in Restudio Code. Uh, Studio Code. Here it is. Uh, so this is in, I'm on a Windows system so that's why it's stored here in uh, Roaming and App Data and Claude. And there's a configuration um, well file which is Claude desktop uh, underscore config.json. And after you install um, the MCP using exactly the command I said just a, a second ago, so MCP install then your package, then basically this is added to this configuration file. As you can see here it's MCP server and then in stock server and so on. For me it's UV because I used UV package for that but it also could be a different way to run it right. Um, and you can see that inside here MCP uh, CLI and then here the package. This is important. Um, there are two ways to make sure that uh, your function or your program actually works. Uh, at least that's what I found out. Either you specify it here with, uh, there it is, and also add the package here because otherwise uh, the first time I tried to do it I got the error that the Y Finance package is not installed. 
because I used a, um, a virtual environment and that was the problem. And this is one option to do it. So you specified in here. The other option to do it would be to add it as a dependency directly in the FastMCP server. There's also a dependency attribute and you could say dependencies and then refer to the packages which are required to run this tool. So that's the other option I, I found out. So you simply go there and specify dependencies uh, dependencies equals something like that and why finds. So this would be another option which I found would uh, work. You can give this a try, but um, in this case, I thought it would be better because I see that this works if I specify directly inside the configuration file. So in here. So uh, then finally, of course, you need to re reference exactly the path. And then, as I said, I'm on Windows where this stock server pi is actually located so that the MCP server for Cloud Desktop, when it tries or says, I want to access MCP server, it knows exactly where to find this uh, pi file and then run a pi file. That's the idea behind that. So, of course, it's just one, but you can add additional servers. It's just one example. You can add, of course, several of them. And the way is always the same. Make sure that you have fast MCP server. Uh, you also decorate your Python functions and finally you install the package. So it also appends, uh, 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 this is here inside this configuration file. So then finally, what you need to do is if you have Claude Desktop already open, uh, I have this in here. Um, so not this one, but let me go in here. So to Claude Desktop, there it is. So if you have already open, you need to close it once and uh, open it again, because only then um, you should see actually this file in here, the MCP integration, otherwise it's not visible by default. So make sure that you first close it and then reopen it again. So then I can ask a question, for instance, what is the current stock price of NVIDIA, right? right. Normally, Cloud Desktop would not be able to answer this because uh, Cloud Desktop has no access to the internet. So it cannot answer the current price of NVIDIA. But our tool, which we um, now give Cloud Desktop with MCP, of course, has this option. And because MCP is now integrated in here, we can give this a try. So let's run this and then wait for an answer, for a response. And what you should see is exactly this one here. So it asks me, do you want to execute this get stock price tool, which is exactly the MCP server, which we have created in Python. And then you could say, uh, yes, uh, always uh, here or for this chat always or uh, once. And I just click on this one here, this option, uh, because just asks whether, uh, because it could be a security issue, right? And you can see here, the symbol is NVIDIA, it uses this, and now it gives me the result. And then it tells me exactly, okay, this is the current price of NVIDIA and also here the trading volume, because remember, I have the second MCP function, which also gives information about that. And that's basically it. So that's the way how you can run or use any kind of Python MCP server. Uh, first create it, then install it, and then you can use it directly here in Cloud Desktop. And that is amazing to extend the functionalities uh, because of course there are a lot of things which Cloud Desktop cannot do by default, but you can extend this. You can also add, for instance, your, your databases. Uh, in this case, for instance, Superbase database. I have another video where I can show you uh, how the MCP for Superbase uh, works. And then you can also add this and then uh, Cloud Desktop, for instance, could directly talk and send queries to your database and answer questions about your data. It could be also other ones. It's just a few examples, but hopefully you see uh, how flexible this is and how easy it is actually to set up this in Python and Cloud Desktop. So um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a like, also share it, and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. And as always, take care and see you hopefully in the next video.